Hey everybody, it's Safety Security Alert here today, back with my second video of my return on my YouTube channel, and um, here we go. And I don't know why I did that intro like that, but just bear with me. So, here we go. Alrighty, so we're just going to jump right into this new video. So, here we go. This is a very small demonstration system that I've built here. Um, it is on a very small board that I used for something else, and as you can see, I, it, I have a handle on top. I just want to say, this little demonstration system, you may be thinking, okay, it looks okay. Yeah, it's um, not the most professional, but it looks fine. Well, you guys better believe there's something really big coming soon, um, as system-wise. So, there's something really big, and there may be something great on a demonstration board. A big demonstration board. <laughs> so, let's just go right into this one. This is my FCI um, FC2224. This one is a two zone, two NAT, two relay, conventional fire alarm control panel. I'm gonna take it out of the tripod here and go on over. As you can see, this is sitting on the floor. Um, I'm gonna open up the panel right here. This is the inside. You may notice troubles on both zones, so I wanted to. Well, I originally sold this um, panel for very cheap because it was already not in the best condition. And I got it back because um, they, the person who bought it said it didn't work for some reason and then they sent it back and it works. But ever since I got it back, um, the terminals here have been messed up. That's why there's a zone one through trouble. I can't get resistors in there. As you can see, zone one, I actually can't do anything because it's actually broken right there. And I just decided uh, I can't get a resistor in there. And then for zone two, that's also cracked, but that's okay. And that one does have a resistor in one of these. I can't remember which one, but it's still not working. So, I don't know why. And that's the only troubles. And I also did this little battery hack where you um, jump where the battery cables go into the um, positive of, an, of auxiliary power. So that's what I did to make it think there are batteries. So, let's go over devices. We have my FCI MS2. I have a few of these. We have my, and these are all on zone 2 every device unfortunately. My SCI MS6, I have Simplex 425120 right here, uh, System Sensor 2400, um, two bar detector, and for alarms this is on NAC2 and this is on NAC1. As you can see I have a label maker so I labeled everything. Uh, this Wheelock, actually it's Siemens, uh, you can't see it under there, it's a Siemens. This is a Siemens uh, ZNS device, it's one of those Wheelock ZNS's, I forgot the exact model of this one. But it's, it's rebranded by Siemens. Um, and if you take off that little sticky um, thing that says Siemens, it says Wheelock under it, which is funny. This is my Wheelock NS right here. And I'll just take it up just for fun. Uh, right there. And I have tape over this one because I decided to keep it okay loud. I didn't want to have both really loud. So that's that. And we have the core going out and the rest going back there. Right there. So I know I didn't keep it too consistent. Like I said, this is the one I threw together, and you'll see the other systems and just wait for it. So let's get into testing. Alrighty, everybody, so we're going to get to testing now. Um, the first device I'm going to activate is this FCI MS2 here. And I'd also like to mention, I'm sorry um, if it's a little bit uh, fuzzy or not the um, best editing or anything like that. The first video was not the best either. I have a problem where I cannot use Final Cut Pro, which is my normal editor, because I do not have the access to it right now, and my storage is full. So right now I'm using the iMovie on my phone, so I'm sorry about that. So uh, as my videos go on, I'll work on the quality. So here we go, we're gonna pull the SCI MS2. Here we go. So by the way, silence does not acknowledge on this panel. Um, as you can see, I had to press acknowledge. But when you press acknowledge, it doesn't silence the tone in the panel, which is weird. So that's why I do it backwards. Just, just, just better. So we will reset the MS2. Actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I have to reset it because everything's in the same zone. And this panel is not one of those panels where you can really activate it. So, and yes, that, that wasn't supposed to fall in. These, this one's not in the best condition. And I know a lot of people reset them just by, I can do it. 
I, mean, I can't know that I fell in. Just by opening it and doing that. Uh, it's okay on mine because mine's not in the best condition as it is. You shouldn't do that. That's how this got like that. Uh, so, don't reset it that way. Always open it and flip the switch. Alright, let's go back and we'll press the reset button right here. Whoops. And then it resets the panel. And unfortunately, you're, it, there's a very long reset time. That's what it looks like in normal, by the way. And then when the troubles come up, you know it is ready. But hopefully there will be no troubles on yours. If you have one, you don't want that. Unless it's like a small thing, like battery or something, but in mine, cool. So I will come back when the panel's reset, and I'm going to pull this pull station. Alrighty, so the trouble just came up on the panel, so you can see it's flashing, and it's going to beep in a second. Um, so that's how we know it's ready. So I'm not going to acknowledge it. We're just going to go right over here and pull this pull station. Zoom in. And I'll go over to it and pull it. Here we go. I'm pretty sure you notice the strobes do not sync. I'm pretty sure that's, well, there's no sync um, for this, I don't think, on this panel. And also, um, since that is Siemens, that's a different, like, um, whatever it's called inside of a protocol. I don't know what to call it, I'm sorry. Um, so that's why, probably. Because very often they'll sync automatically if you look at EST devices. Um, so let's reset this full station. I don't want to get ahead in the shot, it just looks weird. Of the panel. I'm sure you didn't see that, but I pressed reset. So now we're going to activate the simplex. Actually, we'll do the smoke detector, then the simplex TV. All right, so now I'm going to do the smoke detector with my CRC smoke detector tester. I'm going to acknowledge the panel first. The panel just came up. That's been acknowledged, I just mentioned for some reason. So that's how Silent Night and FCI panels work. Um, or some, because this panel is originally Silent Night. Um, so yeah. Um, and that's how some older panels work, because this is, I mean, it's not that old. I think it was made in like 1999, maybe, 1998. Something like that. All right, so I'm gonna spray with this. Smoke tester. Oh, I think I might be all out. I'm almost all out. And I wanna save my smoke saver, so that's why I'm not gonna use it. There it goes. Okay. See what I'm talking about? So acknowledge, only acknowledges, doesn't sound like the pen right there. So we'll blow up the smoke detector. All right. And press reset again. And when I press reset, it turns off. It doesn't always work that way in four wire smoke detectors because there might be a separate reset thing like you have to disconnect the power or something. So, now lastly, I'm going to do the Simplex 425120. And uh, yeah. And I just want to mention this one has a really nice looking lock on it. It's just nice. I have a bunch of them. So, I'm going to pull that one. Waiting, still waiting, still waiting. Now the trouble just came up. I think I just missed it. All right, and I'll wait till it beeps. Actually, I don't have to. Okay, there it goes anyway. All right, I'm gonna pull this pull station right here. And I'm trying to get the simplex B key. All right, here we go. I love these pull stations. They're just really nice. These are my favorite pole stations, the 40s and 51s. They're definitely better than the um, newer ones. Um, yeah. I'd also like to mention, I think I did a pretty nice flush mount job on this. I mean, it's on a board, so it's pretty easy to do. And if you compare it to these, which are on back boxes, which stick out a lot, and not pretty back boxes either. See, it, it's a little inconvenient because I kind of got to get my hands back in here to get to it. That didn't set up because it's still an alarm. But the um, button goes through the board. 
uh, kind of comes out the back like that because I took the terminals off. So, yep. All right, I'll press reset. Here we go. And I don't know why I made that such a big deal. All right. Anyway, sorry about that video being this video being a little like um, thrown together, and the board. <laughs> so um, look forward to better and bigger and yeah more content from my channel coming up soon. And I'll do a quick sneak peek. All right, you didn't see that. There we go. Okay. All right. Maybe made you dizzy, but have a good day.